Welcome to the Miami Herald Business Show. I'm Nyla Boodoo. The woes of Jackson Health System have filled headlines all year, but here's where it stands right now. An $80 million advance from Miami-Dade County has staved off Jackson's cash crisis for the moment. But the system still has some chronic issues. Joining us now to help make sense of these issues is Miami Herald business reporter John Dorschner. He writes about healthcare economics and has been chronicling all of Jackson's financial woes. John, thanks so much for coming in today. Happy to be here. So first, let's start with the healthcare bill. Like, what kind of impact is that going to have on Jackson? Is that too off, far off in the future, or? It's probably too off in the future. Right now, they have got severe financial problems over the next several years, or even in the next several months, and a lot of the provisions in the bill are four years away. So uh, there will be help for Jackson, but uh, it's going to be a long time coming, and Jackson needs to deal with its situation now. So speaking of the situation now, how important are the labor costs and the union's involvements in um, the SEIU and now the Association for Federal and Municipal Workers? How important is that to helping Jackson? Well, it's been called a key uh, element. Uh, labor costs are 55 percent, I believe, of Jackson's costs, and uh, the SEIU has agreed to a 5 percent uh, pay reduction in effect along with some other matters, and uh, ASME is uh, likely to uh, do the same thing later this week. And that will be a key to helping Jackson become financially solvent? Well, it'll be a key to reducing the losses. They're, they have a scheduled $229 million loss this year, and they're trying to cut it to a $130 million loss this year. Can you, is there a simple reason for why it's so bad? There are several reasons. One is uh, their tax revenue from property tax and sales tax is down. The number of uninsured are up. And also there's quite a few reported inefficiencies in uh, Jackson. And what are they doing to try to address those inefficiencies? Well, they have uh, brought in a new uh, chief financial officer, a new chief operating officer. They have uh, hired a consulting team, PricewaterhouseCoopers, and they're all looking at these. And do you think those will sort of, are those obvious necessary steps? How long do you think it will, this will take? Well, that's a good question. Right now, for the next 60 days, the Jackson hierarchy is just trying to figure out exactly what to do and, and how to do it. Okay, so after the next 60 days is when we'll sort of see a little bit more about Jackson's future. That's what they expect. Okay, thank you so much for joining us, John. Thank you. That was the Miami Herald's John Dorschner. Thanks for watching. For the Miami Herald Business Show, I'm Nyla Boodoo.